Aries, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, May 24th. Let's see what's going on with Aries. The heart of your reading, we have the Queen of Swords. Clear-sightedness, being able to look at a situation and pretty quickly determine what the pros and cons are, what the motivation is, what's really going on beneath the surface. You can size up a situation really easily at this time. That's the situation that we're talking about right now. What's the challenge here for Aries? Ah, five of pentacles. Some sort of big change going on in the home or the work situation, possibly um, a change that involves leaving. So someone moving out, someone changing jobs. It may feel a bit chaotic. What is Aries focused on? Mm, hanged man, you're taking all the time necessary to deliberate the facts here. You want to look at the situation. You don't want to come to a snap judgment. You're trying to be, um, what's the word I'm picking up on here? It's like, um, deliberate. You're trying to be deliberate. You're trying to be cautious is not the right word, but it's like, I want to do this right. I want to follow the proper steps or the proper protocol or I want to make sure that all of the details are covered here. It's like you're going through it with a fine tooth comb. Show me the recent past. Two of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, so this leads in nicely to the Queen of Swords that you find yourself in now, that situation. Um, we're making a decision and we are asking questions. We're inquisitive. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords wants to figure out what to do, what decision to make. It is possible that there's someone else in your situation making a decision and you are asking them questions, like trying to maybe um, influence their thinking or help them to consider all the factors before they make a decision. Because I'm getting this sense of kind of you being on the sidelines that may not be for all of you, but this hanged man feels a bit like, um, like being up in the booth when the players are down on the field and you are like, you're influencing the situation. You're, well, I don't know if that's a good analogy, people being in the booth. Um, Like in Formula One, the pit crew, um, they'll have a, it's a, a, a racing sport for those of you who are not familiar. Um, the, the driver of the race car will have an earpiece and the people who are in the, and again, I don't even know if they're, if this is truly part of the pit crew or if those are just the mechanics that work on the cars, but I know, okay, there's a group of individuals who help strategize. Um, and they can be not directly involved in um, driving the race, but they can be involved in strategy. And that's kind of how I feel your interaction uh, playing in here is that you're, at least in the, at this stage of the game, you're more trying to figure out um, strategy and reasoning. Show me Aries env environment. Oh, okay. Two of Cups for the environment says that we're we're talking about a relationship. Either that's the direction that spirit is steering you, like um, 
there's someone in your extended circle that could be a really good fit for you in a relationship if you go through a certain series of events and they do as well and you find yourself um, synchronistically in the right place at the right time in your heart, in your mind, in the world in order to be in a position to make a choice of whether or not you want to be in a relationship. That's likely the, the decision that we're talking about here or a decision that leads up to that. It's also possible that the Two of Cups in your environment is just saying that this is something going on with your romantic partner and it's um, influencing you secondarily. Show me the near future. King of Wands. I, I feel a strong sense of pride here. Very proud, very um, radiant. Like, I, I want everyone to know about this thing that's amazing that I did or that I led, that I influenced. Huh. Okay, I'm not sure how that aspect could really factor into a, a relationship decision because we haven't been given a lot of detail in terms of what you might be proud of. Um, In a broader sense, the King of Wands can be a very um, persuasive, um, persuasive leader. This may just be talking about you transitioning from being in the Queen of Swords mindset, Queen of Swords hanged man mindset of like, all right, let me hang back and kind of from from the sidelines trying to s suss out the situation and, and analyze the factors to King of Wands isn't deciphering or analyzing anymore. He is um, instructing in no uncertain terms, in a bold, decisive, charismatic way. Could be a little bit of like laying down the law, but I'm not getting like an aggressive tone off of this. I'm getting more like a um, almost jovial, playful, um, definitely charismatic, but more in a sense of like, um, you catch more flies with honey, sort of a influential, like, hey, but I do think that you're trying to influence someone that you care about a lot. So I don't, you're not trying to be like a taskmaster or like um, overbearing or harsh. Give me more on the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands so proud? Eight of Swords. You may have helped someone open their mind to how they were actually holding themselves back. It's possible this Eight of Swords used to be you and you're feeling a sense of pride for your own self-analysis and realization of uh, some way that you were limiting yourself because you thought that it was necessary or you thought that you um, couldn't pierce this boundary that you found out didn't actually exist. But I suspect that for a lot of you it has to do with you influencing someone that you care about to realize this for themselves, that they were previously perceiving a boundary that wasn't actually there. Show me surprise energy for Aries. What is going to influence a situation that Aries doesn't see coming? Alignment with the chariot energy. Things are about to take off quickly. Like, um, uh, they're giving me this, um, 
what's it, what the, the, I think it's called the starting gate of like a, a horse race where there is actually this boundary stopping you from charging ahead but the the moment when the the gun goes off the starting gun goes off and those boundaries are released that's when you can really just charge ahead and build up some strong momentum also off of this chariot um i think the surprise is going to be that starting gun going off it's it's some external factor where it's suddenly going to be go time. You get a sense of like nervous excitement, like stepping out on stage to perform for a crowd. Um, that sort of like nervous excitement of I've been built, I've been working toward this, I've been gearing up for this, I've been rehearsing and practicing for this, and finally it's time when I can show what I've got. I think you already know that there's an aspect of um, I don't know when this is going to take off or if it's going to take off. Chariot is here to say that it is going to take off. And the moment at which it's go time is going to be, like, unpredictable. It'll come as a surprise to you. Your hopes and fears, we have the Six of Cups. So I'm wondering whether this is, like, a childhood sweetheart that you may have had some flirtation with on and off. They think that there's some boundary keeping you apart. You don't. Six of Cups can be about like um, a childhood crush or um, can be an ex. The reason why the Six of Cups is so often interpreted as an X, in my opinion, is that the underlying meaning of that is um, like idealized love, like the sort of idea you have about what love is when you're like 12 years old. It like. Which. Depending on in what context you're looking at that concept, that can be a very beautiful thing. Like, um, you know, if, if you're coming from a period of expecting people to hurt you because you've been uh, betrayed or wronged or cheated on, then the Six of Cups energy entering your perspective can be a fresh start to trust someone again and, and expect the best from someone again. So it's it's not always a bad thing. Um, it really depends on the energy that you've been um, persisting through up until the Six of Cups energy shows itself. In this context, I feel like it's saying... You're holding out hope for this situation to finally come together is what it feels like. I, I suspect this is someone that you haven't ever really had a, a relationship with. They or you might be deciding right now whether or not to move out of your current residence. You may have talked about moving to, to the city where they live in or them moving to the city where you live in. I think you're overflowing with optimism is a good way to maybe sum up what I'm getting off of the Six of Cups. 
show me the end result. How do these energies resolve? Six of Wands. Whatever you see as vict uh, representing victory in this situation, that's the most likely outcome. Six of Wands says that it's not going to be a cakewalk. The Six of Wands indicates uh, the soldiers that have gone off to battle or war coming home victorious, but they've just fought a battle. They've lost some of their comrades. They've lost um, maybe a lot of their innocence, you know, a lot of their optimism, but they're victorious nonetheless, and they're being celebrated for everything that they've been through. It's like the victory is all the sweeter for the struggle. What advice do we have for Aries? How can Aries work with these energies for their highest and best good? Strength. I'm getting consistency off of this to be, to try and be as consistent as possible. The challenge that you're going through is, in, in comparison to your advice, is chaos, is a bit of um, instability. And if you can move through unstable energy with consistency, that's going to help you. But I feel like, moreover, this is how you can affect the best outcome for the other people involved. Like if this is a relationship thing, um, the more consistently you your you can keep your emotions, keep your try to keep your emotions kind of on an even keel, um, and convey that consistency to your person. That's going to really help provide this foundational strength that can anchor the emotions throughout the turbulent times. So Aries, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.